From a skilled UFC fighter getting exposed for molesting that dog to a powerful anime character getting turned on by a young boy, I've seen a disturbing trend of sus characters possessing insane amounts of power and strength and being nearly undefeated. As you all can imagine, this knowledge is slowly driving me insane, so I thought the best thing to do was to talk to you all about it. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. He's, you know, steel, like kicking steel, or you hit him and he doesn't fall. I'll touch him enough times, I'll touch him enough times, and eventually he'll crumble like the Twin Towers. Too soon? Ah, Israel, I don't know how to describe you, man. Some call him cringy for saying weak one-liners and acting like they're cool. No, I'm fresh. It's the pretty ones you gotta watch out for. <laughs> while others love him for being himself all the time, but we can all agree that he's a zesty ass dude that can throw hands. Yeah! Fighters know that there are two possible outcomes when you enter the octagon of easy. First you get beaten till you forget how to walk, or second you get violated beyond repair, and if you're unlucky you receive both possibilities at the same time. Israel is one of the best UFC fighters of all time. He's notorious for having long limbs that allow him to kick and punch his arms from upward angles and long distances. This is why he has a record of 24 wins, 3 losses, and 0 ties. But Israel, the same fighter who has made countless men drop to their knees, wouldn't mind going down on his, but not in the ring if you know what I mean. Bruh. He's zesty. He's very zesty. Even on UFC standards. He's the greatest guy and you, know, you better win your fight because I'm coming on your ass, boy. I'm coming for that ass. Wait a minute, wait. He once dyed his hair pink. I thought bro was a fan of Rock Lee, but apparently he's a fan of Gaga and Jaden Smith. He humped a man during a fight. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. He wears nail polish, says something gay 5 out of 10 times he opens his mouth, but that is light compared to the case he found himself in for his UFC 293 title defense against Sean Strickland when Israel's past came back to bite him. A video of him playing with his dog's meat when he was 22 resurfaced and yeah, it was not a good look. What made the situation worse is that he captioned the post, if this dog could speak, the things he could snitch about me, and quote. What else is bro doing with his dog? What the dog doing? He is the king of zest, but he is normal compared to this other shinobi. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. I believe we can collectively agree that they did Michael Jackson dirty when they made Orochimaru look like him. How would you feel if you looked like the slimiest character in Naruto? Oh, I was asking myself why they didn't kill bro in his sleep when he was still a shinobi in training. Oh yeah, that was impossible. Because according to the dead Okage, Orochimaru was an exceptional shinobi, a genius, a once in a generation prodigy, a- Get off that nigga dick bro, what is you doing? The dead Okage was legit fiending for Orochimaru. Even when he caught him experimenting on humans in 4k, he still decided to let him live. I am sure he regretted his decision when Orochimaru came back to kill him. Orochimaru is a freaking monster, who is obsessed with knowledge, he even decided to transfer himself into the young and strong bodies of his human experiments so he can live long enough to finish his research. So let me understand this y'all, if Orochimaru waits for a child to grow and be strong enough so he can be able to literally go inside of them, he is called an anti-villain. Mm. But if I were to wait for a child to turn 18 so I can also be legally able to go inside of them, I'm a predator. This wow, thing is serious? the double standards are crazy. Y'all might think I'm just spitballing, but no. Bro saw Itachi training, licked his lips, and decided to shoot his shot. Because Itachi was already doing adult training regiments when he was like 6 years old. So Bro saw the strength and decided to shoot his shot when Itachi was old enough. And when Bro got rejected, he decided to leave the Akatsuki right then and there. I guess Bro joined the group just to get some of that good Uchiha meat, you know what I'm saying? So after getting rejected by Itachi, Bro decided to go after his younger brother Sasuke. Bruh. When Orochimaru saw Sasuke's power and potential, he decided to give him a permanent hiki, promising him that he would be back for seconds. What did you say, nigga? I also don't understand why Orochimaru is always showing people his sexual capabilities. I mean, was this necessary? Doesn't he have pockets? The fuck? He literally had to take Sasuke using a forbidden jutsu called the Uchiha Thirst Trap just to temporarily defeat Orochimaru when he lured him to absorb his body and pulled out his Uno Reverse card and absorbed Orochimaru instead. <laughs> But he still came back, Sasuke had to pass the controller to his older brother just to finally, finally seal him away. Now then, 
the final boss of the Zest Alliance, Isoka. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. It's really turning me on. Man, where do I even start with this guy? Wait, do y'all hear that? Knock, knock, who's there? Who's at the door? FBI, <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't even gonna go with that deep, guys. Okay, that sounds wrong, but you all know what I mean. You didn't have to call the FBI on me. Jesus. I feel like I would have I feel like I would have to take a shower with holy water after I talk about this guy. So let me break him down part by part, chunk by chunk. First, his appearance. Bro is white as chalk. He doesn't have to open his mouth in order for you to see he's zesty. Because he always oh, has that oh you're, you're busy, busy naughty, 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 naughty naughty face. Even during intense fights. He's also built like if Slenderman started lifting weights and he always wears a crop top to show us his slim waist. But he skips leg day so he wears baggy pants. Bro is always posing in the zestiest way possible. He has the most flamboyant hair and I think he has like a few songs on SoundCloud judging by his face tats. <laughs> Second, powers. Hunter Hunter has a very detailed and somewhat complicated power system. So I'm going to explain his powers the way I see them. So, so Bro can produce a stretchy and sticky substance from his body that he likes to shoot on the faces of young kids. Oh, 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 it's gum. <laughs> he produces gum from his body, guys. Chill, chill. This gum is extremely strong and he can turn it into any shape imaginable. He even used his gum to restore his arms after he lost them in an intense fight and used his second power to make the gum have a skin like texture. His second power allows him to change the texture of any paper like substance so he can literally turn paper into money. He's very durable in fights and sometimes even gets turned on depending on who's punching him. Eyes, that look, that spirit. Third, his personality. Yeah, this is my least favorite part. Soka speaks in a very posh accent, something like this. And his voice actor is... Why am I still speaking like this? And his voice actor probably hates his job and probably doesn't even tell his kids about his job because damn, Hisoka says some really, really downright criminal shit. I don't even want to talk about his weird fetishes since he's a pedophile. Just look for yourselves. What are you going to do now? Wait patiently. Until the fruit becomes ripe enough for me to pluck. Plus, he's really strong, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hisoka! You walk in front! I honestly don't know where this whole zesty and power dynamic comes from. Maybe it came from those old 80s movies with Van Damme, cause Bro was legit wearing deep v-neck shirts and skin tight jeans and he was famous for making it drop but he made a lot of people drop too with his fast kicks so I guess some Japanese mangaka decided that hey if Van Damme is zesty and he can make someone like Tom Bo fall to his knees huh, I guess Freezer can do that too and maybe that's how these zesty characters are born. But I honestly don't mind them because they're very entertaining to watch and I hope I was entertaining to watch. So thank you for watching y'all. I appreciate it a lot and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.